Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is iTorrent Gamer, and I'm here to show you how to get Skyrim for free. I have a previous video, how to get it for free, and it has a not as thorough installation process description as I would hope, so the public could fully understand how to get it installed onto their computers. First, you're going to need a torrent downloader. My preference is uTorrent. Now, you can go to utorrent.com and download this program to download Skyrim. Now, once you have uTorrent on your computer, you can go to options in the top left, go to preferences, go to bandwidth, and make sure your maximum upload rate is at zero. All right? Now, this, you have how torrents work. The more speed you have to upload, the faster you're going to be able to download. It's a peer-to-peer -peer program. So the quicker and more bandwidth that you share, you're going to receive. All right. So once you have that at zero, you can go ahead and click OK or click Apply and get it done. All right. So now I suppose that you have uTorrent done and ready. Go ahead and minimize it, put it to the side. Now this is where you're going to go to this site for the Elder Scroll Skyrim. All right, I'm going to have the link under the description like in every other video. Once you download it, would you go ahead and click Download Torrent? All right, now go ahead and open it. If you're using Internet Explorer, go ahead and open it. And this is going to pop up. Once this pops up, you're going to click OK, and then it's going to commence to download. All right. Now, I already have the game, so I'm not going to re-download it. So let's say it's done downloading, and you're trying to get to the file. Now, keep in mind the file name is rzr-skrm. Once it is done, you can right click on the file in uTorrent and go ahead and open containing folder. Not open, but open containing folder. Once you open it, once you open it, wherever it is downloaded or installed, or sorry, wherever it's downloaded, it's gonna the folder is gonna open. Now, once it is open, it should look like this. As you see, rzr-skrm.iso. Now, I've had a lot of questions of what is an ISO. Basically, it's an image for your driver, for your drive, sorry. It is what you're going to be putting on your hard drive so the game can run. So, for me, personally, I love to use Power ISO. It works perfect for my needs, and it's the least confusing software that I have used. So I have a video already showing you how to get this for free. All right. So now that we know where Skyrim has downloaded to, we've opened it from uTorrent. We're good. We can close uTorrent now. We don't need it anymore. And we have the file right in front of us. Now, if you're trying to figure out where it is saved, right here on the top, it'll show you exactly where it's saved. You can go local disk I, and then mine will be RZRSKRM. Double click this file, and there's the ISO. Now here, with Power ISO, which is the software you're going to be mounting it to, you click on Mount, If, okay, if you don't have a drivers yet, you can go ahead and make a driver. And then it'll give you a driver. It's going to show you Drive E, no media. Go ahead and click Drive E, no media. Now, we know that the Skyrim ISO is in computers. So we can go ahead and cross out computers. It's in the local disk I, as you see here, local disk I. Double click that, and now it's in a folder folder called rzr.skrm. 
So we're going to go and look for that folder on here. And here it is, rzr-skrm. Double click it, and there you go. You see ISO. All right, now go ahead and open this. And you're going to see, if you click on the mount button, you're going to see how it says mount image to drive E, has the file name, and then the, the file name dot ISO. Once it is mounted, go ahead and click on your start button on the bottom left. Go to computer, and you're going to see CD drive E, Skyrim underscore EN. Now, that is it. You have it mounted on your virtual drive. Go ahead and double click it and click open. And then right here where it says install.exe, go ahead and double click on that. Now, this is going to pop up. This is the installer that Razer 1911 was courteous enough to make for the user. Here you can go ahead and put the destination folder. See, I say installation directory. That is the same thing. It is where you are installing the game to. So for this tutorial, I'm going to be putting it under C, Program Files, x86. Since mine is a 64-bit, it's going to put it under this one. The Elder Scrolls Skyrim. Go ahead, click install. And wait for the game to install. Once the game is done installing, I will come back and finish the tutorial. Excuse me for that. All right, everyone. So the game has completely installed. And once it installed, the shortcut for the Elder Scroll has popped up so you can close this if you want I'm gonna go ahead and put this shortcut to the game and you know what I'm not even gonna do anything with it I'm gonna close this so once this pops up on your screen close this and you can close this the ISO you can close it you don't need it anymore you can now this is where you have to pay attention. Once you have fully installed the game, go ahead and, as I told you before, you could open the CD. All right, once you open it, you should see a folder called Razer 1911. See, this is from my computer. See, when, I, when you go to Start Computer, right here on Drive E, Skyrim, go ahead, right-click it, and open. And you're going to see a folder, Razer 1911. Left click on it, or left click, hold, and drag to your desktop. All right. Now you are done with this. You can close this. Now, once you have added this folder, Razer 1911 folder, onto your desktop, it should have these files inside. So, if you've done everything so far, you should be on the same page as I am. Now, once you've done that, go to ahead, go back to the computer, go to your C drive, look for Program Files x86. If you are not running on a 64-bit, it is not going to say x86, it will just say Program Files. But for me, it's under x86. Open the x86 the program files or program files, depending on which bit you're on. Go ahead and look for a folder that says the Elder Scroll V Skyrim. All right, here it is, the Elder Scroll Skyrim. Go ahead, open it. Now, this is what you see right now in this folder. The folder that says Razor1911, go ahead and open it. These folders, or these files inside this folder, highlight them and drag them into the installation directory, which is the folder that you've opened with all the files for Skyrim. Now it's going to ask you if you want right. So I have run into a problem that I see a lot of people are running into. This is how to fix it.
All right, once you get the files from the Razor 1911 folder and you have dragged and dropped, move and replace, move and replace, and it says you need permission to perform this action. Skip it and just continue to move and replace everything else. Skip and move and replace, all right? So this right here, the TESV and the SkyrimLauncher.exe, are the only folders files that did not get moved over. All you have to do is delete the ones that are in here already and go ahead and drag and drop and that's it you're done. Now you have everything that you need to run Skyrim. So Go ahead and click the skyrimlauncher.exe. Skyrim will now be detected. Detect your video hardware and set video options accordingly. Go ahead and click OK. Set for high quality. That's fine with me. You can go ahead if you know your computer can handle it. Go, go ahead and put it on Ultra. Click OK. Click OK. When you exit this, that's it. Do not click play. I repeat, do not click play. Go ahead and exit this. And to run the game, go ahead and click the tesv.exe. And that's it. You're good to go. The game will run as long as you followed the exact instructions that I have shown. I will be making another video on fixes to crashes that I've been seeing a lot of people come across. And I'll spread some of my knowledge and see if maybe one of my, my solutions will fix your problem. All right, well, this is another video for My Touring Gamer. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to leave me a comment below, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you very much.